mystery of stuff. The coronavirus outbreak. Millions of people were obliged to stay isolated to prevent the spread of the disease. To be honest, although this procedure is necessary, many people are sick of it. However, this doesn't apply to the hero of today's story. Mauro Morandi, also known as Italy's Robinson Crusoe, chose to live on an isolated island far away from people, the city, and its noise. This is Mauro Morandi, an 81-year-old Italian man who worked as a PE teacher for almost 30 years. When he was 50 years old, his life changed completely. It all began in 1989 when the divorced man decided to take a long-awaited vacation far away from his hometown of Medina. He prepared himself, put everything he might need on his catamaran, and sailed away. Before going back home, he wanted to visit the exotic islands of Polynesia. However, events took another turn. His catamaran's engine broke and accidentally docked on Budeli, an island located between Sardina and Corsica. Once on the beach, the man walked for some time exploring and admiring the beautiful yet unusual pink sand. After a while, he bumped into the island's caretaker who was the only man on the island before Morrow's arrival. After a few days, Morrow got used to the place and wanted to stay even more. His thoughts of the world started to change. He didn't have to worry about anything. According to Morrow himself, spending those nights on the island had relieved him and helped him relax for a bit. He slept comfortably at night after watching stars in the sky and stopped getting chest pains and headaches. He could, at last, have time only for himself, very far from duties, deadlines, and noises. Unfortunately, nothing lasts forever. Morrow had to return home, yet he could no longer stand that life and felt that he needed a change. So he packed his belongings, left his apartment, and headed for the island. Surprisingly, the island's caretaker was retiring from his post, giving Morrow another reason to stay as he decided to take his place. He started by building a humble house on the beach. He leaves to visit his daughter every other six months. The man put everything he needs there, including solar panels for electricity, an old refrigerator, a Wi-Fi router, a video camera, and a generator. He even has a computer, books, and magazines so that he wouldn't get bored. The unusual, mesmerizing pink sand beach is the most attractive part of the island. Besides Morrow, it attracts a few tourists that come especially to contemplate the outstanding view. However, Budeli Island was considered a place of high natural value. Thus, it got special protected status in the early 90s and as a result, vacationing on the island has been prohibited. It can only be visited with a guided tour. In 2006, Morrow stopped getting paid for his work as a caretaker due to some financial problems, yet he never thought of leaving his favorite place. It was his home. The man decided to stay there and continue to work for free. Due to the rampant winter storms that hit the island every once in a while, Morrow ends up spending a whole month without communication with the mainland. Not receiving any more food supplies during this time, the man switches to survival mode as he tries to consume as little food as possible until the storms fade away. Morrow doesn't seem bothered by these inconveniences. Ian blessed about his limit. The man enjoys his new life civilization. He books, exercising, and takes a lot of and videos and sceneries. He also makes a bunch of unusual sculptures and unique handmade items that visitors have them. You might be surprised to hear that, but the cost of the money he gains from selling these souvenirs is donated to charities because, except for buying food, some tools, and a few other necessities, he simply doesn't need all that money. The man even started a small farm a while ago. He has enough food, eggs, and milk. As it rarely rains during summer, Morrow has to collect rainwater in large tanks for later use, including drinking water, laundry, and personal hygiene. Despite all the difficulties, the Italian Robinson isn't planning on leaving the island. The wild nature is better, safer, and more enjoyable than any noisy city. Having lived in Budeli for 31 years now, Morrow knows almost every part and every corner of it. Besides his daily routine, he goes for walks every once in a while to explore the surroundings or observe the plants and creatures found on the island, especially the birds that he enjoys talking to in the morning. Well, there is only choice anyway. The lone man also practices a lot of habits, such as swimming, photographing, and fishing. It's awe-inspiring being able to do all these things alone and at such an age. 
These hobbies were a great help to pass the time as well as enjoying every aspect of the incredible island. When first resided on the island, Morrow didn't want to share this beauty with anyone else. He didn't like tourists or visits from authorities. However, over the years, everything changed. He now wants to interact with more with whoever comes to the island and offers them to be their guide and show them around the area, especially in summer when the place gets crowded with tourists who want to see the miraculous sandy beach. Having heard of the coronavirus hitting the whole world, Morrow thanks God and claims that for him, Budeli is probably the safest place on the planet. Morrow is still afraid of losing his home as many businessmen have their eyes on the precious island. If it weren't for the petition he started to ban the sale of the island a few years ago, it would have been sold to the New Zealand entrepreneur Michael Hart, who was willing to pay 3 million euros for it. Luckily, 20,000 signatures were collected and Morrow didn't have to leave his home. The man has become very famous during the past few years. Many reporters visit him to get an interview and ask about his interesting lifestyle. Even doctors were amazed by his excellent health condition. According to the 80-year-old, he seldom gets sick or tired and rarely needs medications or painkillers that he used to have to take when he was living in the city. He follows a healthy diet and exercises every day. Thanks to Morrow, this paradise is left clean and untouched by humanity. He takes guarding it as a duty and plans on staying there the rest of his life. And when the time does come, he wants his ashes to be scattered over his beloved island. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and let us know what you think about it in the comments section below.